I have no idea what I am doing for this raid. It has been way too busy of a day elsewhere to do like all the move sets and the coverage and prep tomorrow's videos, so we just running it and hoping for the best. I'm just thinking, I'm like, do I need to buy the DLC ASAP so this button goes away? Age divisions for official competition. I guess that's just an update because there's going to be competitions. So, Paldea Prologue. I heard this is trash, right? Like, just absolute trash. Double battles, and you're allowed one legendary. Trash. Season 3, that's the thing, and then... Here's this. You have until Sunday to grab one. Maybe farm some stuff. All right, what are we looking for? Is it just a special water raid or what? Check it to stream, all right. Like, that tells me that's probably it. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's like a black star terror raid. We have a water dragon Pokemon, so fairy. I just want to get a little bit of experience of this. Come up with something, make gods. So now the Verizian is like giving people more trouble. Easy. There's no way. There's no way people are having a problem with this raid. If it's five star. I'm actually wondering if we just do something stupid. So it with a Hydreigon. I feel like you could just bug out on it somehow. No one has a strong bug type. See, I was thinking, like, maybe I just do something hilarious and I just go Flutter Main with an amulet coin and I just spam Draining Kiss until I win. No, you don't need it because it's not amulet coin, I meant uh, Shell Bell. And then you just Moonblast. Competitive because Noble Roar. Ooh, Noble Roar messing people up. What does Terra Electric do? How do you not have any level 100s in February? Gothitelle. Or Bulova for Pika raids. I feel like I'm overthinking this. Well, I could probably just go Specs, Flutter Main, Moonblast, and win. 
That's my first read. <laughs> Gonna get bodied, but... You can learn. The thing is, like, when you have to go online to do a raid to get the cross version one. I'm like, it's only a five star. Crit with Maridon one shot this weekend. Alright, let's see if we can just... Oh wait, I'm stupid. It's it's Terra Water, so Fairy isn't going to work. I was just thinking about the Water Dragon, forgetting that it's a Water-type Terra event. Oh, now the Terra Electric makes sense. I'm still going to go for it. Like, it's still just a 5-star raid at the end of the day, so it shouldn't be difficult at all. Especially because we know cheers are busted. Interesting. You can just use a Protosynthesis Pokemon to get free. He's also got Protosynthesis on the speed, which actually isn't crazy. So just hang tough, go all out, Moonblast, Moonblast heal. Specs, we win. Noble Roar, though. Chat kind of warned about that. We'll still, we'll still see how this goes. Seems a little fat. Flamethrower, though. We shouldn't take anything. Yeah, we don't take anything. Moonblast. Another Noble Roar, yikes. So it really is about that competitive, huh? Now we spam. Does the Hydro Steam hurt? Getting crits, not cool. Still has the sun out. The effect is kind of pretty. Uh, now we terrestrialize Moonblast. Yeah, Noble Ro Roar kind of making it tricky. Right, it's not Terra Fairy. Oops. Hands is best for Wake. Yeah, I'd imagine Iron Hands does pretty well. I don't think we're gonna get this. Just because it's gonna be so fat. It seems like there's not much of a damage threat from the Walking Wake. Especially if you set up the, uh, Cheers. So I'm like, does Iron Hands just, just uh, thunder punch it with Choice Band the entire time and you're fine? Or is that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing any damage threats. I don't think you even need to uh, go Shell Bell. He can't hurt me, but I can't hurt him.
Yeah, Shadow Ball would do more, because I'm Terror Ghost. Problem. I'm Specs. I keep getting crit. I said I just AFK brain, uh, just to kind of see what would happen. Like, can you just take any level 100 and win it? In theory, yes, but technically, no. Oh, uh, we get KO'd and lose, I guess. Yeah. That timer feels like it's ticking a little faster. Alright, so if I had Terra Fairy, probably. Or if I just did Shadow Ball from the start, because I forgot I'm Terra Ghost. Probably. That Noble Roar is annoying. But yeah, it seems like any level 100 electric Pokemon, even, should be fine. Maybe? Heard some shenanigans going on in the in the other room. I think my dog's just bouncing around. All right, I don't want to like have to make an entire new Pokemon for like a one-off raid kind of idea. So let's just see if a Spathra works because it's kind of busted, and we'll just lower its stats and we'll just keep lowering its stats, and then we won't have to worry about anything. So again, just defense cheer. Attack, cheer, hit it, and win. And also, this one actually has a proper Terra, so I think we can just grind it down. So, it's I, I think this is like a fake 5-star. It's closer to a 6-star raid. But even then, those are doable solo with almost any Pokemon. Opportunist doesn't really yoink too much. It would be interesting if, like the natures or something made it to where it boosted special. We don't have a lot of time to waste, though. So. Early paralysis is nice. I'll take that, you know. You can just kind of do whatever. Tank that Hydro Steam. Yeah, it doesn't feel great. But we're still tanking the Hydro Steam, and then that means we can go all out. And hopefully that second Lumina Crash just heals us up all the way, almost, you know. Should be fine. Dragon Pulse. Not as ouchy. Not, not even close to being as ouchy. And now we just spam a, a Lumina Crash. Alright, so that first one. No, not crazy. Okay, that did nothing. Wow. We're still in like a good healing situation. Also, like, we have special attackers, which we don't. Uh, Lumina Crash would then scale the damage. See, now, now it hurts! We're not healing anything, though. It's kind of weird. Yeah, this Pokemon is, like, outrageously fat. It seems like you can just take 
a potential Pokemon from a different raid and be all right. So now it gets fun. Now we can Terra and start getting that damage down. Ooh, why is that flamethrower hurting? I mean, sun makes sense, but yeah. I feel like on the negative effect removal, that's when you do your heal cheer, so you can just kind of survive something. Oh, what? That heal cheer did nothing! Sometimes it just seems to be like a weird randomness on the heal. It did on the Fluttermane, got like 70%. The heal cheer wasn't even worth it. There's, there's something up with this raid. Like the amount of dam, like the amount I'm healing compared to the damage I'm doing. But I guess it's, it's weird because it's five star, so it actually doesn't have too crazy of inflated health pool. I think we just got gypped on that heal cheer. Also, if we get KO'd, we come back, he's still going to be minus on the stats. That Hydro Steam is going to hurt. Ouchies. We don't heal enough to get over that. It's going to be close. Might not get it. Could be RNG. Yeah, this is a fraudulent five star. We just need to get like three. We don't have enough time for three. We barely have enough time for two. Bro, that heal cheer was not worth it. We were just better off attacking. Yeah, we don't get it, huh? Oh! We definitely had a move left, but okay. That's a gross try. Hmm. Uh, the cleft key was interesting. It has flamethrower though, so that's kind of mean. Uh... We have Terra Water instead of Terra Psychic, which isn't ideal on the slow bro. This would be wacky if it worked. Call mine energy ball Flutterman. Probably. Anything that can set up calm minds probably just works. Like, you probably put like this on the slow bro, calm minds would be fine. This cleft key might work. But again, like, I don't have, I don't have Terra Psychic because I don't hack my Pokemon, which is why I'm doing raids.
What if Specs Bellabolt can do it? Materials, candies, and shards galore. I don't think I need the defense boost if I'm running Bellable, because we'll just heal enough. That's the idea. That's the hope. So we'll refresh really quick. That's right, you can protosynthesis. Yeah, I think the Flutter Mane's a just different idea, you know? Uh, go all out. Parabolic charge, GG easy. Really? Double Noble Roar? That's fine. Even though it's not. The Bellable isn't level 100. Right. Used Maridon to be Walking Wake. Well, I have. Wait. How would you have a Maridon in Scarlet version for the Wake? I know, like, trading, but, like, that's not a common thing. Not ideal. We'll run it anyways. Yeah, online allows you to catch both. But then if you're going online with a Maridon, that's not really you soloing it with Maridon. Then, like, other people are bringing right on, whatever. I'm not having a hard time, I'm just trying to see what works so that way I can make a more comprehensive guide for the people. It's not any level 100 Pokemon beats it. It's you still need some kind of either just super effective Pokemon or a harder setup. Bro, the noble roars! But parabolic charge. Holy crap, that's damage. Even after a roar, and then we should just get everything back. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of the idea behind Bellable. Like, it hits us, it's going to charge us, and then we're spec, stab, super, and all that fun stuff. So, Bellabolt's kind of free. Noble Roar, interestingly enough, not proccing into us. When we did the Aspathra, it didn't Noble Roar. I mean, now this is still just fine. Like, we get our third, and then we Terra, and then we're still going to be doing enough damage. Yeah, you can't bring a Grass because of the Fire and Sun. Elytra still does fine, though. Yeah, so far, Bellabolt's like, just the free, easy one.
See, now this feels like a, an easy five-star raid. Yeah, you are kind of hard locked into electric, but if you just have an electric Pokemon, it does pretty well. Remember, this is next defense invested, so like all you need is a Bellable with special attack. So we'll see Parabolic Charge into the shield. Oh my goodness. And we're still healing everything back. Yeah, seems very, very easy. And done. So if you're running Miraidon, do you just like Specs 2 shot it, or do you just run the Shell Bell? That way you survive like the Dragon Pulse, and then just heal everything. Like, what's the rotation for a Miraidon user? Do you go Defense, Cheer, Attack, Cheer, 2 shot, or what? Even though, again, it's like Miraidon. Well, if you're online, I don't know. Because then just everyone brings a Miraidon and you win. Alright. Well, ah, Great Ball. I like Great Ball. Just Metal Sound Life Orb. How many Metal Sounds? Large candy, some water terror shards, some more water terror shards. Someone said the rewards for this were fat. I'm not seeing it. Two metal sounds is good enough. Two metal sounds is 3x damage. An attack cheer specs is 2.25 times damage. Wise glasses. Why not just have a magnet? Interesting. Even though it's ugly, that model is like pretty, pretty clean looking. It's what we call high fidelity. Is it just me, or is it like that touch of dyslexia everyone has kicking in? Whenever I like first glance at Walking Wake, it looks like Walkie Walkie. Alright, so we got Fluttermane. Uh, what Pokemon do I have for the Psychic type? I 
I do have the Golden Go. And it's just the Golden Go. I honestly can't get over Game Freak telling us a dinosaur turns into Doggo. Uh, dinosaurs and chickens. Congrats. It was nothing. Uh. You put my amulet coin back on. Uh, what moves does the Verizian have? I'm guessing, like, you resist everything as Golden Go. So I don't need to bring anything defensive. I can just melt it on specs. How does Golden Go solo? Sideblade, Leaf Blade, Megahorn, Swords Dance, yeah, so it can't touch you. Probably like no way I actually get into one of these raids. They did say they were fixing like that issue where it sometimes times you out when it shouldn't have. Scizor solos. Gonna have to explain that one to me. I guess you just tank everything because you're a steel type. This check for new posting should update a lot faster. At least show more than eight. Iron leaves 4x weak to bug. Except not because it's pure psychic for the event. See, so yeah, I guess Scizor just runs up and then bops it with X Scissor, I guess. Or you have to be quick on that new posting. Ah! Does it prioritize events? I got both events each time. Technician pounce. Bug Buzz Scizor is always trash. Even though it's a wasted effort, we'll try again. Solo Chi Yu. I could see that working because the dark. Doesn't Chi Yu have like no physical defense though? It seems like you could get bopped. Oh, Will-O-Wisp. 
Why would it have overheat if it's a psychic type? I don't take hosts from chat because I'm. Oh, what the fuck? How did. What? I'm so confused. So it failed to get me in the first time. I did it again, waited forever, and then it got me in. So what I was saying is. I do not value, like, I do not accept anything that would put me in a privileged position for these kinds of things. I go for the layman experience. It's like the average person that's just out there isn't going to be streaming to hundreds of people to take in a free code and might not have, like, Discord access or friends with the right version that are online at that time. So they're going to have to go online, they're going to have to do it raw, and then see how that experience goes. I'm just going to spam Shadow Ball and hope we, we bop it. Even though, like, eh, Tinkaton, we got a Tempe. Can't do anything about the Tempe's. So we're going to see how many people just kind of, like, holding you down and making sure you don't get this thing get in the way. I'm just spec Shadow Ball on the Golden Go. Why not? A, the worthless Swords Dance. Oh my goodness. Shadow Ball not really doing much. Defense cheer seems unnecessary. Megahorn is going to do zero damage. King Gambit's out there doing barely anything. All right, I guess I'm carrying. And somehow, Skeledurge down. Oh my god, these kids, these Timmies are taking way too much damage. What the hell? I saw people saying that like they were having a hard time online, and I guess like, wow. These are like level 60. It's February. It is unacceptable that you're still like running level 60 Pokemon or just have nothing for raids. Oh, I'm Specs and I've wasted valuable seconds. The heal cheer, because these kids are worthless. Please, someone attack cheer! It's so much more value! Oh my god, after the KOs, everyone panic heal cheered. I'm not even gatekeeping at this point. If it's take you three and a half months to not have a level 100 Pokemon for raids, or you are enough of a and for some reason you want to fuck a Tinkaton so you have one, like. Nah, you. Nah, it's. You have. Nah. Oh, that's an unlucky steal. King Gambit now panicking Swords Dance. Oh my god. These are a disaster. Do you play other games too? Again, still completely unacceptable. It's not hard to get a multiple high level Pokemon. Or have an IQ above Room Tim. I'm guessing the solo Golden Go experience, I could have Terra'd. I should have Terra'd. Because, like, it's actually really bad. And for all I know, the raid is over because three people got, like, one shot right now. And we just lost all of our time. Finish it, King Gambit. Now it's not doing damage. Nullified stats. Okay, we got it. That was some decent, but alright. I'm wondering if you do want the Shell Bell Golden Go, because you will take a decent amount of damage.
Like, you just attack cheer. You probably don't need to defense cheer with the shell bell, and then you pop it down. And then you just terror ghost. Ooh, an ability capsule. Not a lot of stuff, though. Yeah, these are like standard 5-star raid rewards with maybe a touch buff to, the, to what you get. Wow. These kids are trash. There might even be the one-shot angle on the Golden Go that's pretty safe. Everyone using Meowskareta? Yeah, a lot of people want to fuck the cat, so I guess that's their only level 100. Bro, that's how cynical all this nonsense has made me. Pokemon Unite devs just have body pillows of the Pokemon they favor and don't want to nerf like Zeraor and Lucario. And then everyone else is a Timmy that has body pillows of their trash raid Pokemon. Unite Dev's Navization Pillow. Um, nah, they probably have a Zation Plushie, though. I'm just kind of setting up my guide video. Uh, so, Bellabolt absolutely smashed. So, we got... I'm just in Pokemon. Like, I'm just going to talk it out while I... Go on Pokemon Showdown and set up some of the recommendations I have. Modest, Parabolic Charge, Choice Specs, Bellabolt into Walking Wake, which is Hydro Steam, Dragon Pulse, Flamethrower. And then Noble Roar, which is kind of annoying. And then we have... Iron Leaves. Which is Swords Dance. Psychic Thing. Side Blade. Leaf Blade. Mega Horn. And then Golden Go is good into that. He'll bring Cinderace. Because <laughs> they just have it. They're like, this is the only strong Pokemon I have because I s just leeched a raid. Yeah, no one watches guides. Pokemon community is toxic, selfish, entitled, and just downright retarded, so. Don't know what else to say. Uh, so what's the optimal? Yo, thank you very much for the $5 donation. Good luck on raids. I did my raids. I just wanted to get the intel, have chat tell me what else to do, and then I'll make a guide tomorrow.
So what's like the correct golden go? Like the, the strat you want to do to win that? Do you metal sound go for the one shot on shadow ball with nasty plot how many nasty plots how many shadow balls do you just like go defense cheer metal sound metal sound heal cheer nasty plot one shot like what is it Is it just you shell bell, shadow ball, shadow ball, shadow ball, terra, shadow ball, shadow bell, shadow ball win? That probably can't lose. Even though, as we kind of saw, like, that side blade still does damage to the golden go. So, defense cheer, attack cheer, shadow ball, shadow ball, shadow ball, shadow ball, shell bell. Scizor also seems really strong. Wait a second. Someone said pounce. Someone said pounce. That's less power than X scissor. Not by a lot, but still less power than X scissor. Shell bell foul play. That sounds inaccurate yeah pounce te technician is 50 to 75 exos are just raw 80 choice band exos are or is it all shell bell on just like bulk winning Iron Defense has higher special defense. By a decent amount, not an insane amount. So Scizor is probably fine. Swords Dance on the Scizor. There is that Noble Roar threat. Do you always want to do a defense cheer first? Just because, like, it can hit? It's like, defense cheer, swords dance, attack cheer, x or probably does, like, half its health and full heals you on a shell bell. And then you x or x or Terra, and then win. And maybe a heal cheer inside of that. Like, you probably only need one swords dance. Unless you're going for the one shot, I don't think you need a one shot for this. See, I can't, I can't test the exact way to run, like, the rotation, because I don't have Violet. Yeah, Raid's the only way to obtain these Pokemon. Yeah, DLC reveal sucked. Yeah, like, this was just Swish DLC reveal, but worse. It's not being a servant to the teat of Game Freak. It's still, like, better than 99% of games that come out, sadly. Like, I've got nothing to play. All I do is, like, get upset at League of Legends, go back to Minecraft mods, and I'm waiting for Ashes of Creation. Uh, 
What? What's good for Walking Wake that, like, everyone has? It's like, Bellabolt works. A lot of electric Pokemon work. Oh yeah, Iron Hands. Not everyone has that, because it's, uh, exclusive. No, Tinkaton's like the shittiest Pokemon ever, so Zacian's like an incredible bring. If anyone cared about Pokemon United, Zacian would actually be super hype. Solo raid your allies' defense chair at the start? Since when? Always? There's no way. Yeah, I smashed Hogwarts Legacy. Just what the things was like, but I take so much damage still. What the hell's the event? Ah. Scyther Skitter Smack. According to this, Scyther does not have Skitter Smack on Pokemon Showdown. And that wouldn't work against Burzian e anyways, because it's physical attack and Skitter Smack lowers special. Wow, kids just really be out there lying in chat.
hit raid battles. Uh, yeah. They're still better than uh, Dynamax raids on like the rewards, even though it could take longer and the shields are no more annoying. Like your rewards are still really good. Ooh, a special attack heightened. Interesting. Yeah, I guess they do just defense cheer. It doesn't. It never showed. I was always just like, nah, that blue pulse is just cosmetic. I still get trucked. That's some luck. No noble roar, fat paralysis. I guess that'll just happen. That's an ouchie. Oh, I still have amulet coin. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to heal, but I got lag. That's right. I think Shell Bell's fine here, and then we're winning. I just have that up. I just wanted to see, like, if it's always a defense cheer from an ally. But it is. Which is really weird. Like, the game is balanced around that, but not really, because, like, again, you still take damage, but it can mitigate damage. Does Technician Fury Cutter? Actually, you, don't need, pro you probably don't even need the tech. Eh, technician is just free damage. Does the Fury Cutter dab on the Verizian raid with the Shell Bell? What's the best Pokemon for each raid? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So it's like Golden Ghost Scizor. That takes care of Iron Leaves. Walking Wake is weird because if you have Iron Hands or Miraidon, it's pretty free. Yeah, Technician only affects the first use of Fury Cutter, but it's the only ability that Scizor gets usage out of. So, I guess. Like, Swarm is at one third or less hit points, you get 1.5. So that would be very specific in how it interacts. So at least like your first hit's gonna be 60 with that technician. Then you go 80. Then you're at 160.
However, there's probably some math where it's like, Swords Dance, 160, 160, 160, could just be more than Fury Cutter. Yeah, that is kind of thing, like, Swords Dance is automatically a max stacked Fury Cutter on X's or... What item on Combine Flutterman? I'm guessing just always Shell Bell, because like you need that sustain. And as you're setting up, it's not going to be in shields. So you just Combine an arbitrary amount of times. Energy Ball when you need to heal. I guess I could actually just make that right now and test it. Because that won't get in the way of my... Uh, Fluttermane. Unless I don't have Calm Minds. Bless. Bless. Because I'm paranoid. Oh my goodness, this this fucking too many items then. I didn't put shell bell. If you want someone to host because you can't do anything to the raids, that makes you a leech and no one wants leeches in the raids. So that's not an incentive to get people to host. Even though this is a very leechable raid, we saw that with the tank a ton last time, but still not something that people care to support. I don't know how many Calm Mons I'm going to need to use on the Flutterman, but we can just throw it. Because yeah, these are very soloable. I'm just trying to find the optimal ways of soloing them. It's not free. Like, that's the thing. It's not like, oh, I bring any 100 and I beat it like any other 5-star raid. But like, yeah, Calm Mind Pokemon seem to be pretty good. Alright, call minding. Here's the ally defense cheer. Again, that just feels like it doesn't do anything. Also gotta keep track of those. We're still up one because the protosynthesis. It's like, yeah, Fl Flutterman getting a free protosynthesis also really nice. There's probably an efficiency calculation with this, plus an attack cheer, but so far we are under no threat, and we continue to be under no threat, so I guess that's just fine. Oh, uh, not Moonblast, another Calm Mind.
Oh, and we're going to get the grassy terrain damage. So, yeah. Even better. Oh, I wonder if we... I want to, like, not attack cheer from this range just to see what happens with the plus four energy ball. No attack cheer. Grassy terrain is up. Shell bell, though. Okay. The attack cheer wouldn't have swung it, but... I just, I just want to kind of see how it is. This Pokemon's fat. And then it gets to the point where, like, you're kind of overkilling it. If I did two more Calm Minds and Attack Cheer, it might just naturally tick down into Shield. And then we kind of haven't done anything. Alright, Kyle. Bye. Energy Ball. Chunkin'. Yeah, I say if you get to, like, three Calm Minds, or, like, plus three because of Noble Roar, so, like, four Calm Minds. Then you attack here, you'll be fine. We are running low on time, kind of dilly-dallying. That last energy ball feels like it did nothing. I probably should have just terrestrialized to get that bonus damage. Alright, maybe one do more than three to get to plus three. We know the clock scams you in this, so... Might only have two attacks left. Hopefully that's enough. Yeah, it'll be enough. Right. Cleansed. These guys don't know how to cleanse. Oh, up, oh, uh, uh, stop, buttons. Wait, I wanna check some. Check status. Yeah, it cleansed. Energy ball, that, please, okay. I almost scammed myself on, like, taking up time. Shell bell seems completely unnecessary. But, I mean, like, I don't think Miracle Seed does anything, so maybe in case you get crit, you want that shell bell there. Yeah, good question. What's the best Iron Hands moveset? Yeah, the rewards are decent. I guess you get a little bit of extra Water Terror Shards. Water Terror Shards pretty good, though. Like, that's actually meta for certain Pokemon. The rest of the rewards aren't crazy. Candies. Maybe you use a Terra Water Boost food. Like, his Iron Hand just Shell Bell, Thunder Punch. You don't have the boosting, so, like, you attack, cheer, and then just run it down and hope Noble Roar doesn't time you out. That doesn't sound good. I feel like you get blown up by the Water-type move before you can Belly Drum. So Iron Hand's trash. People said, what, two Metal Sounds on Miraidon? And then you attack here and one shot it on the drift. Yeah, the Greninja rewards were crazy, and the Greninja has been like the easiest 7 star raid.
You're still on it? Yeah, I guess if you just never let your Nintendo Switch connect to the internet until you get 999 extra large candies, probably fine. I think that's it. I got footage. I got prep. I can just kind of bang out that guide whenever I want. How do you know it's a five-star walking lake? Because it's five stars when you encounter it. It shows the stars. Big mushroom. I made a million videos today, so I'm too tired to just kind of like make the guide immediately. I'll probably publish that by around 8 a.m. tomorrow. I think I'm done. I think I've done everything I need to do. Alright, thanks for everyone that became a member. Thanks for all the super chats. Thanks for the advice. I think we just got it easy. Very chill. I can finally sleep. <laughs>